In this video I'm just going to show you how you can make a cool annotation ending for your video. Now this is going to be quick because um, time restrictions on YouTube. So I'll just show you quickly how I can create one. So here I've just got a new mix, just a blank screen and I have my mix here open and I just want to add a cool annotation annotations video at the end of it. Um, what I can do is I can just insert a video credit and I'm just going to set this to one uh, YouTube HD because that's what I want to upload it to and I'm just going to change the target frame size to YouTube HD as well so then I'm just going to click in here and just check out my videos as a a link to my video channel so I'll just actually make that a bit bigger put it to 80 and I will center it check out my videos and then I'll just highlight it and I will give it a cool font so I'll just quickly pick one so here check out my videos and I will bring it down a little bit okay so that's my link to my video channel and then I'm just gonna highlight it and copy the segment and I'm just gonna place it underneath and I'm gonna click on the text properties of the new segment and what I will do is I will change this and I will call it skateboarding and again what I'll do is I'll actually position it to the left and I will bring it down a bit and I will just bring it out just a little bit from the edge so I'm happy with that and I'm going to close that and I'm going to copy this segment again so just copy segment paste and I'm going to call this my other video which is for Tet circling and again I'm just going to move this over using the offsets so it's a little bit too big so what I will do is I'll bring this down to sixty and I'll do that the same for the skateboarding I'm gonna bring that down to 60 as well so I have my two videos here and I'll just bring that over a little bit and I just want to recenter this check my videos out it's a little bit over here so I'll just highlight it left position it to the left and then just put it on top so now that I have my setup here, I want to bring my videos in. So here I have my first one, the skate mix. So I just double click down on them in the mixing screen in the media browser to bring them down so that I can edit them. And I'm just going to take a, I can preview in the track cutter exactly what I want to cut. So this is a pretty cool trick here. So just highlight a couple of seconds of it. So I'll copy that. So what I'll do is I'll copy and paste that in. So I've copied in too much. So I want this to be about 10 seconds long. So I'll bring this out to there's 12 seconds, so 11 seconds. So then I can just snap everything to it, as you can see there. And now what I can do is just click on the segment properties. And this is the border here, so I can always play through to get an, uh, an another area. So I like that. So now I'm just going to grab that as well so that I can make sure that it's the same. So, And what I want to do is zoom out to a certain amount. So I can just right click to get some defaults and I'll, do, I'll set it to a quarter, to quarter size zoom out. So position nicely there so then I can just grab it and then just place it where I want so there's the skateboarding video that I want users to maybe get to after watching my video so they can go and see more of my videos and then I'll just tab into the fortet one 
make a quick selection copy it paste it again too much so just grab it and just snap it so every I'm pretty confident now that everything is snapping together and now I'll just click on the seven properties for that right click on the zoom bar select set to quarter size and again just position it And I can always just use my up and down arrows on my key just for exact finishing. So that looks pretty good to me. You know, you can always play around with this. So, yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then what I want to do at the end is just maybe put a message to if I wanted them to go to somewhere else as well so I just copy that text segment so I can copy copy segment and then maybe just paste it down here and then text and then maybe I want them to go to my TrackX PC channel so made with TrackX PC and again I can just position that anywhere I want and of course you can always change the fonts like if you want to make this a different color let's say maybe make it orange um, you can change the font maybe I'll just make that a capital M so you can always just go in and re-edit it so now that I'm happy with that, I'm pretty happy that it's what I'm looking for. I'll just click export. And what I'll do is I'll call it annotations ending one. And I'm just have to click export. It will save it to YouTube high definition H.264 and 30 frames a second. So now that it's rendered, uh, I can see it that it's automatically highlighted in the media browser. And I can just tab over to my other mix here, the uh, mix that I'm working on. So it's a um, skiing mix that I'm doing. And let's say I want this cool annotations ending at the end so that I can get users to go to other videos I've created um, or to my channel. So I'll just drag it in. It quickly parses. And the video is placed in there. Now I can just bring it to the end of the video. Then you can see that I have this video clip at the end of my mix. So I've made a whole mix and then this is in. Now I can upload this whole video with the uh, ending here. But what I'm going to do is just for this video, I'm just going to upload the annotations ending clip up to YouTube and show you how to set up annotations. So I'm just going to click up upload to YouTube and then upload. So now that I have my video in YouTube, I just click on edit video. Then I click on the annotations setting. And then what I want to do is in this area, just add a notation. I'm going to use a spotlight. You can see this yellow bar comes in. So I want this, this is the length that the annotation will last. So I want it to last the whole video. So I, I stretch it to the whole video. And then what I want to do then is just position the annotation, uh, the spotlight box over the video that I want. I'm pretty happy with that. If I want to change the text, I can just t change the text here. Right click here. And then I maybe want to move the text over a little bit. So just make it a bit smaller and have it here. The last thing I want to do then is to add a link. So I want to add a link and then I want my four tip video. So I have it tabbed in Chrome here. Just click Control copy to highlight it and then click in the box and Control V. But you can do Control copy, Control paste and then click save. And then I'm happy with that. And then I will click save and I'll click publish and then just click here to view the published video. So now you can see the end of the video the user can just click here and it'll be taken directly to another video that he's created and you can use annotations to move people to anywhere you want your channel anything you anything that you want I hope this helps all the best bye bye